Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger admits he is suffering, with his side's recent troubles leaving him short of sleep and the subject of sympathy from other managers. The North London club were recently thrashed twice within a week by Manchester City and currently sit sixth in the Premier League table, 33 points off Pep Guardiola's league leaders. A 2-0 Europa League victory over AC Milan on Thursday provided some much-needed respite for the Frenchman, who is coming under increasing pressure to leave from sections of the club's fan base. And ahead of their clash with Watford on Sunday, Wenger revealed the strain he is under, and how the likes of Sir Alex Ferguson have come to his aid. Every manager will tell you when you don't get results the first thing affected is the mood, the lack of sleep and the desire to find solutions, he told Sky Sports. But it's part of the job. When you're a young manager you dream that you want to take a job and win every football game but it's not that. It's, about, surviving through disappointments, finding solutions and that's interesting as well. It can make you a better manager to face crises. He added, I have had many messages from, managers past and current, who are supportive and I must say I am very grateful to them and we all go through tough times. I have a good relationship with Ferguson and sometimes he sends me a message when things don't go well. Despite signing a new contract in the summer Wenger has come under heavy pressure to leave from pundits and fans alike. But he says he can cope with the flack because it's never personal. It's not the person they hate, they hate the manager who doesn't deliver the performance and I can make the difference, he said. I'm just unhappy that we lose the games, I want to win and my whole life is guided towards that and I want to win with style so it's very ambitious. So when we don't do it I'm suffering like everybody else. But Arsenal Football Club today is 30 million people it's not just the suffering of one person. You want to make 30 million people happy, that's what you care about.